As shown in the previous demonstration, the robustness improvements in 16.0 should help users get a more automatic mesh with less setup required. The robustness improvements should also help users reduce their total element count by ignoring features that are not required with the desired mesh resolution. But what about the mesh quality? Meshing is often a trade-off between total element count, geometric features that are significant, and mesh quality. The mesher tries to automate this, but sometimes users want more control. New in 16.0 are mesh edit controls to help a user put finishing touches on the mesh when they want specific control over certain areas of the model. This could include improving the quality of the worst few elements or adjusting the mesh to meet specific features of interest. In 16.0, there is an option to display the mesh by quality where the user can select one of several quality metrics. When looking at the mesh quality, the user can display the element outlines in wireframe or turn them off. There are also probes to see the metric of an individual element or min or max tools to mark the worst quality element. The user can also adjust the contour bands and what values they want to use. When moving nodes, the nodes move on the associated topology. So for example, a node attached to a vertex can't be moved as it is associated to the geometrical vertex. An edge associated node would move along the edge. A face associated node would move along the face. Internal nodes cannot be moved. There is a hotkey F4 which allows users to move nodes freely without the topology constraints. But be aware that moving nodes in this fashion makes it easier to fix or screw up the mesh. Along those lines, it is also important to note that there are undo operations to undo the last move operation or all node move operations. Also note that node move operations are not persistent. The worksheet view will give a history of what has been done based on the current node IDs, but when remeshing, new node IDs are created, so the history is then out of date with the new node IDs. For this reason, I would recommend to use a node move operation sparingly and only use it to fix any small problems that can be fixed quickly. More serious problems should be fixed by making changes to the mesh setup and remeshing.